What is going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today we have this 2014 Ford Focus and today I'm going to show you how you can reset the crash data on the airbag module. Um, if your car was in a crash or something, the module can be reset. Not all the modules can be reset, but this one in particular can be restored brand new again instead of buying an expensive one. And we're going to be using the Altel IM608 to... Uh, reprogram the EEPROM here and also we're gonna use a different program to actually restore the data um, on this module so on this car um, all the airbags were replaced and well the only thing we have to replace is this but uh, since I have the tool I'm gonna give it a shot and also uh, most people out there they want to learn how to restore these things to new like I said not all the modules can be restored but this one can be all right so let's go uh, the module on this one is gonna be located right here it's actually hidden right here you have to remove this cover right here and well actually the uh, the module is like tucked in right in there it's held by probably I mean it's held by three uh, screws I mean one screw and two nuts so it's gonna be in there uh, both are 10 millimeter and it's really simple to remove you just have to remove this cover right here and it will come up uh, really simple all right so i'm gonna take you to my bench and let's start disassembling this thing and i'm gonna walk you through uh, for the steps that you're gonna need to uh, restore this thing brand new all right let's go all right guys so as you can see here we have the little box already here and well you have to do actually three steps in order to make this box clear from the crash data so the first one is well we have to disassemble it as you can see i removed the screws and that way we can expose the EEPROM which is inside this box right here so as you can see here the EEPROM is usually located on this particular one right here uh, it has another one on the back but that's not the one we need it's actually this one and I'm gonna show you really quick here. This is gonna be the sec, the second. I mean the third step. Uh, I'm actually the second step. Uh, here we need to extract the information from the EEPROM, which is stored in here, because the crash data stores in the EEPROM, and we need two programs in order to make this work. So we're gonna use this program right here called Airbag Service Tool, and this program is actually. Some people sell this program, but I'm going to give it for, to you for free. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can download this program for free because it should be free, not uh, you don't have to pay anything for it because it's free. So as you can see here, we have the part number 0285, this whole number. And you see here, I already typed it in and it gave me this right here. And actually gives me the EEPROM number two, which is the 959640. So with that information, I know what EEPROM I have in this little box for the airbag. And now what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use the Autel software for the programming, which is this one, the XP400, which comes with the Autel IM608. You can actually do the EEPROM read with the uh, scanner, but I would recommend you to do the laptop because if you do it with if you do this with the scanner, you have the the EEPROM will be stored in here. And then you have to plug in your cable and transfer that information to the computer. So it's just better use this tool, and it will make things easier. So the EEPROM we're gonna need is nine five six four zero, which is the which is an SD EEPROM. So here, once you load up the software from Autel, you're gonna select EEPROM, and then you're gonna, you're gonna scroll down all the way down until you see SD. So here, we need to find the matching number, which is, I believe, 95640. So we need to look for that. So give me one second, let me look for it, and I'll continue. Uh, recording this all right as you can see here i already found it it's gonna be the m95640 and it's actually a w because 
I don't know if you can see right here, but I can see it. It has a W at the end. So we're gonna select the W, this one. And once we selected that, we're gonna press OK and it's gonna give you the, actually the bits, eight by eight, eight kilobits by eight times eight. So here, as you can see, we have FFFF, which means empty. And now we need to read this. We're gonna plug in our little clamp right here. And this one has a guide. So the way to actually know, instead of looking for the little point, the red dot always faces the, uh, the letters. If you see the letters like this, you always face the, uh, the red thing up there so if it's if the if the reading is backwards then just flip it or if it doesn't work just flip it and it, it will work so we're gonna put this right here I'm gonna put it right here and actually I'm gonna do a reading but with both my hands because this thing doesn't clamp all the way so I'm gonna put my reading here I'm gonna upload it and once I read it, I'll, I'll show you really quick. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I already did the reading of the EEPROM. Takes like a couple seconds. So once we have this information here, we're going to do a save as, and we're going to save it here. So as you can see, I already have the other one, which is says clear. So I'm going to put this one here, save it, which I already did. Once this is saved, we're gonna close this and then we're gonna open our special program which is this one so once you selected the module that you want to um, uh, restore we're gonna select do it and it's gonna ask you to find the crash data EEPROM which is the one that you actually read first we're gonna select that one we're gonna open it and then actually tells you if you wanna change the B number for the car so if you don't want to change it, just press OK. Once you press OK, it will give you the clear uh, file here. So I already saved it. We're going to save it. I'm going to press cancel because I already did it. So once you have that data saved, we're going to open this program again. And now you're going to open a new window right here. So we're going to put this one, select clear. We're going to open it. And here you have your data already cleared. So as you can see here, I'm gonna erase the other one, which is already, uh, that was the crash data. So once you're here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this right. But you gotta connect the clamp right here. Once you do the right, it will, um, it should be in green, which is successful. It says right fail right now because I don't have the clamp right here, but I already did it and well, actually I went to the car and everything's clear. So once I uh, I have done this already, I'm gonna put this into the car and show you that everything's clear on the car, all right? So I'll be back. Uh, let me assemble this back and let's go to the car and check out if we have the data already clear from this module. All right, let's go. All right guys, so this module is already installed here, as you can see. So right now I'm gonna assemble everything back. I'm gonna connect the battery because every time you work on these things, you have to disconnect the battery. Uh, just in case, I have never had a problem, but you never know. And well, I actually disconnect always the battery when I work on airbags because I don't wanna be hurt by one of them, one of them exploding in my face. So I would advise you to disconnect the battery. All right, so I'm gonna connect it back and let's check it out if we have the airbag light clear or not let's go all right guys so the moment of truth is right here i'm gonna open the switch and let's see if we have the life of the airbag gone so as you can see it's right there so usually when you turn on the, the ignition it lights up for about five seconds and then it turns off meaning that everything is checked and ready to go okay so let's open the switch right now airbag is on and it should disappear right now and there we go so once we turn it on we should see this the light and everything off so as you can see here I don't have any messages for the airbags let me just scroll down 
see if we have any messages information and let's see and no messages anymore on this car only the fuel all right guys so this will be pretty much the end of the video if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel comment down below turn notifications on so you can be updated with every video i upload every every week again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next episode give it fix up bye Is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step